Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. So today we will talk about the step by step of dental survey. First, you have to start by examining the cast that you are going to survey. So basically, this is what you have: the uh, maxillary and a mandibular cast. Um, just examine the cast from a closer view. So you would like to um see if there is any particular undercuts or any particular anatomical um, features that you want to pay attention to. Okay, so you start by mounting the cast onto a surveyor. This is what you had. Uh, this is um, the dental surveyor. Okay, you have your cast. Put it on the surveyor table. Secure it. Okay, make sure it doesn't move. And then change the tilt for it to be zero tilt. And then lock the tilt. Okay, that's how you start. Okay, next you want to um, analyze the cast with an analyzing rod. So basically, you start with fixing the analyzing rod onto the tool holder. Like so. And then you just run the analyzing rod against the, all the teeth, especially the abutment teeth. Um, in general, you want to observe a triangular undercut to see if there's spaces available below the height of contour. Okay to ensure that um, you get the correct or uh, the most desirable tilt for you to um, start doing the survey. Now we will see how um, changing the tilt of the cast will affect the undercut. Okay, so we will start with the cast on zero tilt, meaning the occlusal surface is perpendicular to the table. Now I'm tilting it uh, anteriorly, okay. When you tilt it anteriorly, you if you try to survey the distal surface of the tooth, you will see that there will be no um, triangle of undercut. Now, when that was changed to a posterior tilt, meaning you bring it posteriorly. If you look carefully with the analyzing rod, you will see a triangle of undercut below the height of contour um, in this instance. So changing the posterior anterior undercut actually will um, determine the path of insertion. Okay, instead of determining the undercut for um, retentive component okay so anterior and posterior tilt will affect the undercut basically on the mesial and distal surface of the posteriority but if you change the tilt to medial and lateral tilt that will actually change the undercuts on the buckle and palatal surface of the posteriority okay after you've Determine the tilt. So now you are ready to um, survey with the carbon marker. So you start by attaching the carbon marker to the tool holder, like so. And run the carbon marker against all the teeth on the cast. It is important for you to make sure that the carbon marker. The surveying is done on the most bulbous part of the tooth. Okay, you do this by making sure that the tip of the carbon marker is at the gingival level. So that's how you make sure that the most bulbous part is surveyed and marked by the carbon marker. Okay, continue to do this on all the buckle and later lingual surfaces of the teeth.
you have to have a good control of the tool holder okay to make sure you do the surveying properly at the end of the survey you should have two lines one one line on the most bulbous part of the two and another line on the gingival area okay this is a close-up of um, the positioning of the carbon marker the wrong and the correct positioning so this video will show you the correct positioning see how the carbon marker is brought down all the way to the gingival margin okay um, on the other hand this is how you do it wrongly is when the carbon marker is brought down to it's only brought to the um, any level that you chose so there is a danger that you might actually mark not on the most bulbous part of the tooth okay wrong survey next you want to survey the soft tissue area it is also important for you to survey the soft tissue area especially where you have the saddle or the areas where the teeth are absent okay these are the areas where you will extend your flange next you will have to start surveying for the undercut okay you have three different sizes of undercut gauge the point two five millimeters point five millimeters and 0.75 millimeters these different sizes um, correspond to the different materials that you have to choose for your retentive component okay uh, you can have the stainless steel or the cobalt chrome uh, reta retainer uh, and also the gold retainer so you have to choose accordingly according to your treatment plan you start surveying for the undercut okay by putting the chosen gauge against the abutment tube okay make sure that both the shank and the tip of the head both touch the tooth surface at the same time that's how you get the correct size for the undercut area okay you find where the undercut area you want mark with another colored pencil okay so that is the area where you want to put the tip of your uh, retentive component okay you have to repeat this step for all the abutment teeth and for all the potential areas where you want to put your retainer okay after all of this has been done then next you have to record the tilt that you have done for the survey by doing a tripoding. This is how you do a tripoding. Basically, you bring the analyzing rod to three different points on the cast, and all the three points have to be widely apart from each other. Okay, so next, when you want to put back the cast on the surveyor, you will use the tripoding marks to get the exact same tilt again. In some cases where there is uh, a need to engage a deep soft tissue undercut, you might want to change the path of insertion okay, to reduce the engagement of the undercut. This can be done by um, changing the tilt okay changing the tilt indicates that you're changing the path of insertion okay um, so the surveying needs to be done with a different colored carbon in this case I used a red carbon so you just continue and do your survey complete the surveying on the 
have tissue and soft tissue areas. Okay, after that, you will have to record this tilt by doing another tripody. Okay, I would like to also thank Dr. Elena for um, her help in recording those videos for today's presentation. Thank you.